That's it, that's it, that's it. All right, guys, welcome back to Bay Tech. I'm Gavin. How are you doing this week so far? Today, you guys are coming along with me, and I think Greg's going to come out in a little while um, to reassemble the 13B engine. You're going to have to ignore all the shit on the ground. That's all the RX7 parts that I'm going to be selling off. But yeah, this is the where the main business is going to be happening. So basically, uh, obviously, I've got a rotor. Um, I've got new side seals from uh, Power Seals. I've got my stone for uh, grinding in the, the side seals. I'll show you all that and how you do it and the sort of clearances I'm going for. I've got my sort of feeler gauges and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll give this bench a bit of a clean down. I wipe down, make sure it's nice and clean. And then, uh, oh yeah, of course, you can't forget a little bit of petroleum jelly when you're rebuilding these engines. Yeah, so you can see here I've got RF3. RF1, RF2, is that right? Aye, 1, 2, 3. Uh, so RF stands for rear, so it's the rear rotor, and F because it's the front. So it's the rear, but this faces the front. Um, and that way, you know, if you need to deassemble it or something goes wrong, you can put all your side seals in exactly where they came out because they are like clearance to every single length because they are like, like very, 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 very slightly different. Um, I'm not sure if it's a cast in or a machine in or what, but you know the tolerances we're using like they're absolutely nothing. Eh? Like this is zero point, eh, so it's point zero five of a millimeter. Um, actually, the clearance you're allowed from the side seal here, eh, sorry, the side seal to the corner seal is um, zero point five to point one five. So I'm just going to go bang in the middle, um, point one because. 0.15 is at the slacker side, 0 0.05 is on the sort of tighter side um, which you can make cause binding or that on higher horsepower engines so we'll go for 0 0.10 which is sort of just in the middle okay, so I've got a side seal spring in there and I'm just going to use a matchstick to spin it around and get it in place and um, because generally if you use a screwdriver it gets magnetised and uh, yeah you can see down there the orientation of it and uh, yeah, so if you use a, a screwdriver, what you'll find is it's magnetised and it'll just pull the spring back out again. So I use a bit of wood. So, and then uh, the corner seals, these don't have a side up as long as the groove obviously is facing outside. So, and these don't get clearance. I've checked all these clearances and they're all bang on right. Um, so I'm just going to stick some petroleum jelly in here, like this. Just a bit of that. And then you just put the side seal straight in. Like that. And then the only sort of clearance you check on here is you have to make sure that this here, this because obviously this is sprung, it sits above 0 0.5 of a millimetre. If it's less than that, you need to replace the spring or uh, the corner seal itself. Right guys, and this here is 0 0.5 of a mil. And this is probably quite a rough way of doing it, however, I'm up against it there and I can see that the corner seal is protruding much higher than this, so I know that's fine, this is nice and free, that's what you want, you don't want them to be sticking on biding. There we go, side seal spring, and you want it so that the, this piece here, the end piece, is pointed up the way. So I've set the camera up so you guys can see, hopefully the thing stays in bloody focus. So yeah, outer side of the spring stick up the way, and these don't get clearanced. They're all sort of shorter than the length of the side seal anyway. See this one here. Facing up the way. Nice. So now we have one, two, three side seals. So these are what we need to clearance. Um, and basically these guys sit inside here. There we go. When it sits against here, you want that to be the same angle um, on the edge here. I don't know if we can zoom into this. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? There she fuck. Fucking G7X, man. That's my head in sometimes, this camera. It's not very good for showing close-up stuff. Um, right, so. You get what I mean, though. So basically, that's got to sit up against there. Um, and uh, yeah, so now basically I need to take down this a little bit. So 
Next to the hands come off so far anyway, so that's that's fine. And basically Basically now we'll go for this one first so you guys can see. Yep, still too tight. Right guys, so now I've got the side seal into the groove, I can push it down very slightly, it's still a bit stiff, um, but as you can see here, there's like no clearance there, so, um, come on you fucker, yeah, zero clearance there, so now I just need to take my time now, and uh, I'll take it easy, and probably just do sort of two, three strokes at a time, and hopefully we get um, our clearance that we're after. Right guys, and that's it in. I and mean, this is how tight tolerances are after. Eh? This is 0 0.05, and uh, 0 0.05 will go in there nicely. Yeah, no problem. Um, 0 0.0, or 0.1 I should say. It goes in with a very slight drag. And uh, 0.15 doesn't want to go in. So, um, that's exactly the cl the clearance, the tolerance I'm after, and uh, yeah, it feels free, so that's good. Don't want any binding. Um, so yeah, that's the first one done. I've got this two to do, then flip it over, and then the next three. So to keep this in sort of place, uh, just get some more of this uh, petroleum jelly or Vaseline or whatever you call it, and just remember, like when you run your finger over this, it's fucking well sharp. Eh? Like you have no idea how sharp it is. Like slice your finger two seconds flat. This is how cold it is in the garage just now. <laughs> it's actually fucking freezing. Real cold in here. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so we've got a wee heater on, try and warm things up a bit. Eh? Still Baltic. Oh. Stick some more uh, sort of petroleum jelly in the corners here, stop them coming out. I'll run an apex seal, I've got an old apex seal here. And basically what you want to do is you want to run the apex seal through here just to make sure that the springs are not um, in the road. Because if the springs are in the road and you've got the rotor in, you can in the housing, it's a bit of a nightmare. I've checked all these side clearances as well, as well in spec all the way around, so that's ideal. Um, and yeah. Pretty much ready to start sticking this thing back together. So, last time. So, goopy, goopy, I think I used last time. So, you're just making sure the springs are not spun around. Perfect. Right. Looking good. Okay, let's have a quick look around. You can see a cut up here now for the bridge port. And uh, that looks nice. So it's just here look okay. Everything's in. Looks good. So um, all days a blow of this housing's out. Give this side a clean down, and uh, we'll get prepped for assembly. Woo! She goes on outside, and I a yellowin or an orange. -y. And this is all cleaned and prepped and everything's fucking hunky-dory and beautiful. And this just goes on the outside. She doesn't start pulling out. There we have it. 
beautiful. Dibbles are in, so now we need to put the O-rings over the dibbles um, for sealing them. So, first o-ring in there with a little bit of Vaseline and uh, just to hold it in place. Actually, I need to get a wee bit of Honda Bond. Maybe oil we'll this bit up here because this is the sump. Get a good lick. Beautiful. Two T. It's not an exact science. I just use a syringe because it's easier to direct it. Sounds like my ass after a curry. <laughs> Stack gears and the bit of it sill for the E shaft. Beautiful. Now it's time for the rotor. So you missing something. What's that? Uh, apex seals. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't go in yet. They'll go in in a wee second. Apex seal springs. Apex seals. Really, just to get it in, and uh, we'll run it in with some oil, and then we'll change that anyway. So I've been in like a fucking dream. Now apex seals. This is a so the way to do this is put the skid in here and here, half and half, and then use the half guy, the small guy. He'll go in the middle. Go do a bit more. It helps a bit. So there, so you've got two sp springs, and we're in there, and down she goes, just like that. So it's two springs there. Do you want to push that one down? Oh yeah! <laughs> How did that feel, bro? Smooth, smooth and tight. Smooth and tight. Oh, you bastard! Sorted. That's the first part done. So next, I um, need to put the intermediate shaft on. Can be, uh, intermediate plate. It can be a bit tricky because you have to lift the E-shaft up a bit and swing it around. It does go on, so it's not an issue. 
to do is lick your rotis. Give them a good fucking licking. For the sump, stop oil going fucking all over the flare. <laughs> <laughs> That's my secret exhaust port and secret. Right. So we're gonna need to pull up in this a bit. It's almost impossible to yourself, but you manage. Done a few times. More Vaseline in the hole. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> Vaseline in a carrot, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Some more Honda Bond on the go, and as Greg says, it's just like making a. So this piece now, I'm going to the top. I've got my dowel seal there, so it's sealed up. There you go. That's better. Perfect. Right, happier this time. And now, get some of the sheet squared in here. In here. I've oiled up that E shaft as well, so that'll. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Next, I've rolled my camera. Be patient. Seen this monstrosity come alive. Oh, you bitch. Camera should be shaking a lot more because I'm fucking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> You bastard! <laughs> the last fucking one! <laughs> Shit, man! Okay. Okay. Last one, man. You can you can get the honors. <laughs> you fucking bitch! Take three. <laughs> Ready? Yes! What a fucking shitemare, man! Yeah. That's just my wee cold fingers. Sharp as fuck. Get it over there. One of them. And one of these. Okay, let's try to see if this works. It's certainly messier. 
Nah, we're 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 class as pros nowadays. Oh my god. Now we're the treat. This is no fucking big enough. <laughs> right. Sink this on now. Try to see, make sure that that doesn't. Uh... Seals don't drop again. Yeah. Yeah. Put some of this shit on. Just for that first initial start, if she starts. Clear. Ooh. Looks fine. That's it. Fucking perfect. Nice one. <coughs> now we need to chuck in the studs and torque her up. Where the fuck are the studs? There. Over there. Yeah? Over there. Yeah. That. See? See them? Not there when I came in. Like what? What, um. Like what? Shall we. Magic. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's do this. Take the crack of money! <laughs> Morning up. Morning up the fuck. Oh, new seals. That's Dr. Ridge. What's this in there? We've been doing. Ah, this will be YouTube, man. Point it to Scotty. Hey! <laughs> some man Scotty's come to see us. <laughs> He's making sure we're building his engine right. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna help us lift it on the bench. Yeah, it's a fucking heavy country thing, like. Mm, yeah, well, I can taste that. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Ah, has a rotary engine, like so. It's uh, a wee bit different to the norm. So, so when did you start the stripping process? Well, last I had week. to send bits away, uh, so last week I sent, last stripped week. it down. Took us 20 minutes to strip it down and then inspect it, check clearances and that, and then send bits that were fucked away. Um, there's a boy in England that repairs them, so. Oh, and you, you managed to repair the bits, didn't you have to get rid of it? Ah, I think okay. fuck, so. Just um, fucking. Uh, right. I got to yeah. 1000 and now we're at 1180. Yeah, I mean, you sure. got to a Fucking class at this point. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm fucking squat, squat man. man. I'm gonna film it just in case I fucking bust my pucker muscle. <laughs> Did he? Oh, well, I'm getting too old for this fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> so we're getting there, camera battery died, so yeah, obviously we've talked it all up. I talk at 10, 10 newton meters, 20 newton meters, and then 40 newton meters, I think which is like 30 foot pounds. Um, I this fact is supposed to be 29. I'm just looking for the big bloody socket now. I found that. This old welded beast. Welded fucking bit of angle iron stuck together with a bastardite socket. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's tighten this cunt up. Lamp or clean up. One of these days, this thing's gonna explode on me. Sign when she starts chuffing. <coughs> Nay bad. Uh, I don't think I've had one of these not leak before. I mean, do you have a rotary if you've not got a leaky fucking sump? <laughs> <laughs> do you even rotary, boy? You yes, so. That never ends well. So Let's see if we can stop this fucking thing's leaking. Stop leaking when it runs out of oil. <laughs> so you just need to put a wee bit less oil in a car, eh? And it <laughs> definitely when it leak oil. Mm-hmm. It's like shouldn't leak oil, but I bet you fucking anything it does. <laughs> I don't know why, eh? It's just, I don't know if it's maybe how they form the sump is or some shit. It's all good to me. And there we have it, engine is in. And um, look at these nice new mounts I've got down there as well. Eh? They are Land Rover engine mounts. So I run them on the K20 RX7, they were nice uh, and relatively cheap. I think it was £9 for two of them. So yeah, I'll replace the solid ones I had. Just solid bits of uh, steel. Um, but yeah, they're a bit softer, a bit nicer to deal with. Um, for that brappy idol. This will have a bit of a brappy idol, so that's always good. But yeah, that's going to do it for uh, this video in here, because it's probably going to be long enough with the whole rebuild side of things. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming along and much appreciated for getting involved with the channel and all the builds. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next vid. Cheers guys.